Are you a fan of Lionsgate Steelbooks? I certainly am. They do some amazing things at a great price. Just check out the creativeness of this American psycho. Yeah, if you like that, stay tuned. I have my entire collection, every single one of these bad boys to talk about. Here we go. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Ungraduated Media, your channel, your spot for everything enlightenment when it comes to physical media. That's movies, books, and vinyl music. That's what we talk about here on this show. Yeah, we do go through some collections, which we're going to do today. I will be giving some comments about all the Lionsgate books. I have them all. So we're going to talk through those and also go through the amazing cover art, details, and any perspective quickly that I can give on each film because I'm not going to be reviewing them here. But if you're into that kind of stuff, join the growing community, hit that like button and do subscribe. It helps the channel keep growing and that's what I'm here to do for all of you. Of course, to have fun with physical media, but also talk about the perspective that we can learn, the philosophy from the films, the movies and the books, the music, of course, too. So, of course, here, the amazing first shot I showed of Christian Bale in American Psycho. Lionsgate really, since about 2020-ish, started to do these very creative uh, slip covers. Not all of them are as amazing as the rest, but here is just some of the artwork on this Christian Bale, American Psycho. Great film, of course, with Christian Bale. You got your interior cover art. In this specific one, you can see some of the detail here. This is the envelope it looks like, or at least the business card, sorry, <laughs> Patrick Bateman, vice president. If you watch the movie, then you can tell what that meaning is. Of course, you've got your disc art as well, too. That's American Psycho. This film is a good one. If you haven't seen it, I would highly suggest that you do check it out. Again, I'm going to try to talk to these quickly and be more about the cover art and the details. And they're all right behind me, so bear with me as I go through each of these. And I guess since we're right here, well, here is a box set. This is um, The Hunger Games, Jennifer Lawrence. This is the four movie box set. You can see the artwork right there. Nicely done box set. I have watched all of these films at one point or another. So if I ever do crack this back open, I would love to uh, watch them physically because a few of these, before I got into physical media, I definitely streamed. And uh, yeah, there's a little tiny tear on that cellophane. Dang it. You see that? You see that? That's the kind of stuff that just, you know, grinds your gears. Anyway, uh, that is Hunger Games. Let me... Go ahead and pull this one down next. This one here is a very touted, highly sought after set. This is the Rambo set. And all of you physical media collectors out there know that Best Buy did an absolutely horrendous job in the storage of these. So they got all dented up. This one I got, it has a small dent there on the side, right there. Little tiny indentation that you can see right there. Outside of that, it's in great shape. And this is worth a lot of mucho dinero uh, online. If you were to actually purchase this or look up what the cost is, this is like a $500 plus going rate because it was such a rare number to begin with, and then it got so badly damaged. But there's the four Rambo films. Sorry, five Rambo films. I know you're getting glare. I apologize. That's probably the best view I can give you right there of the films uh, with Stallone. So really am proud to own that in the collection. Here we have some of my all-time favorite films. This is... The John Wick box set. This is one through three. 
And yeah, having seen all these and owning all of the individual Blu-rays and 4Ks, I don't see a need to open this. This to me is just more of a collector's item from Lionsgate. This was going for about 70 or 80 bucks at Best Buy. They still have these in a lot of Best Buys. If you find it, it's going to probably keep coming down in price as time goes on. But being a big John Wick fan, I love this box set. I Part of the challenge of collecting physical media is it is meant to be experienced. So I want to open this and get through it and feel it, touch it, and discover all the hidden gems and nuances inside of it. But you buy movies to watch the movies. And I do collect, of course, but it's about the movies. So for me, I don't know. One day I may just pop it open. I can't take it to the grave with me. So at some point I'm going to experience this film. But yeah, John Wick. This uh, this is not a Lionsgate, but this is, real quick sidebar, this is the Walmart John Wick 4K box set that I just kind of have sitting right next to John Wick. Let's put the Hunger Games back up there. Okay, now, this is one of the earlier releases from Lionsgate. This is Midway. Don't have this one open because I've watched the film. Again, I'm going to... At some point, if I do rewatch this, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can now on physical media. Great war film. I wouldn't say it's the best, but the visuals in this are amazing. If you haven't seen Midway, definitely worth a pickup and checking it out. Even if you stream it, it's a great war movie. It's fun to watch. Lots of great sound. A lot of good action in that film. Here's Knives Out. This is the first version is obviously a uh, remake. This is the first one. Let's see if I can pop this open easily or not. Yeah, relatively. Of the casing. These are such a pain to get. That one wasn't too bad, actually. So here's your knives out. Pull this slip cover off. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to do this as best I can without the glare. So nothing really super special about this except for well, look, you see all the sharpery, <laughs> the knives. So that's through the back, actually, of that slipcover. But that's just kind of how that works on Knives Out. So I can easily put this back in so I am not taking up any time away from you all. Hey, that one actually went back in pretty easily. These cases are just not always... The easiest. Some of you know that. Now, I'm not a huge Kick-Ass fan, so I have not seen this whole movie in its entirety. What do you think about Kick-Ass? Is it underrated, overrated? I hear the first one's pretty good. Uh, the second one I hear is not so great, but this is the Best Buy. These are all, of course, Best Buy exclusives. This is Kick-Ass. I don't know what the cover does as far as the slip pulling this off, but I will watch this. I have seen parts of it with my nephew, but have not watched the entire thing. So that's Kick-Ass. Total Recall. This is another one here that's unopened at this point. So again, again, not all these slipcovers are amazing in terms of how they reveal, but some of them are pretty slick. This is an older one as well with, of course, Schwarzenegger. You can see at the top there, this is the 30th anniversary they're all 4ks all of these are best buy exclusive 4ks from lionsgate and again their price points are amazing i mean 21 dollars for what they're doing and i really blame ken at mid-level media i i watch his channel quite a bit and he got me into all of the uh, best buy 4k exclusives so this is total recall and again if i've seen these films i tend to just leave them in the packages and um perhaps again one day i will bust them open to watch this is a really good one and underrated probably not as well known this is warrior and man it's just uh it's a it's a really good film of course being that uh you know i like it because it's based in pittsburgh which is my hometown where i'm born and raised but you got tom hardy you got nick nolte joel edgerton and, yeah, it's about two brothers that end up going head-to-head -head that uh, are from the underground uh, ring, so to speak. And check out, see, you can. 
Boom. Gloves there are just part of the artwork. But on this one, I'll pop it open for you. It's kind of cool, too, about what they do. A lot of times, they put original pressing on the inner part. And I can't see on this one if it says original pressing. Yeah, I think it does. Yep. You won't be able to see it, probably. Camera doesn't want to focus. But it's it's in very small letters, kind of in that black part, original pressing. So, um, But anyway... Just look at the artwork on that. Tom Hardy, of course, is great in this film. I'm a big Tom Hardy fan. But, um, yeah, and they do, of course, again, on the inside. There's typically more artwork, disc art. You just you have to appreciate that for t about 22 bucks, you get all this detail and in work inside of a still book whenever you can have other labels that release still books for 40 Thirty dollars, which is you know, you just wonder how Lionsgate is able to do this, and they commission a lot of the artwork too. So they come up with these designs. By the way, there's the father who plays a big emotional role in this film of these two. He's a big piece of the uh, of the puzzle, so he's in the background there. But uh, the fence with the gloves, you just gotta gotta love it, and a great movie too. So if you haven't checked it out. Sorry for the ring glare, the ring light there, but check out that one if you haven't yet. Hell or High Water, another great one. I, I own this on Blu-ray. I don't have, I've never watched the 4K, so this, this should give me the opportunity to break this open and watch the 4K, Hell or High Water. A really good film that um, has Jeff Bridges in it and um, Chris Pine. Ben Foster uh, about really the struggles of economic downturn and what some will go to, what the lengths that they'll go to um, to provide for their families. But great movie. A lot of these films from Lionsgate, they're just great movies. And uh, they do such great work with these 4K transfers and um, artwork on the boxes. Dread, Judge Dread. So this one I did not know was as good as it actually was. This this comes in 3D as well. I do have a 3D projector that I will occasionally hook up to watch 3D content. And this one, the visuals are mind blowing. Okay, it's good to watch in 4K, but the visuals from a 3D standpoint blow your mind. I am the law. I don't like the law myself very much, meaning <laughs> government. Uh, but there you go. There's the artwork. And, yeah, just underrated film. Some of your disc art on the inside. And uh, if I pop out these discs real quick, just show you guys more of the interior artwork on the inside. And again, yeah, this film is just really about, you know, kind of a dystopian future, crime-ridden, low-income, high poverty. It's kind of like the haves and the have-nots. And uh, there's these blocks that citizens live in. They're like kind of projects almost where it's all-encompassing skyscraper tower type of a place. And... Uh, yeah, Dredd and his um, protege go in to deal with uh, a mob boss who is dealing a hallucinogen that slows down time whenever you take it. This, this drug makes everything slow down. And the slow down effects in this film are fantastic. So yeah, if you haven't seen Dread, check it out. I was pleasantly surprised with it. It's a newer one. La La Land. It's got a label right on the front of it. I don't know why. I think I ordered this one. That's why it came with that on it. But uh, La La Land, it's a musical, I believe. Ryan Reynolds. Sorry, <laughs> Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone. Uh, I'm not a big musical fan. But uh, this one obviously wouldn't be here if it wasn't good. So that's La La Land. 
Rob Zombie film, Three from Hell. I'm a big fan of House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects. I think it's even better than House of a Thousand Corpses, but Three from Hell I have not yet seen. Actually, I think I did, but I haven't opened it up and watched it physically. Haven't heard the great things. Haven't heard the greatest things about this. Um, If I watched it, it's eluding me, so I don't remember all the details of it. But, uh, yep, that's a Rob Zombie film with Lionsgate 4K Steelbook. This movie, everybody really hates on this movie. I actually enjoyed it, Moonfall. And it's the concept of the moon uh, falling apart and crashing into Earth. Hey, you know why I like this movie so much? Because if you know anything about the moon theories that exist, hollow moon and what really is the moon, again, the conspiracy in me cannot help myself whenever I look into this kind of stuff. There's a lot of evidence that the moon may not be what we think it is, right? The dark side of the moon, all the objects that are found on the moon and NASA's covering up. Man, there's so many great documentaries out there that you can watch that give this movie some credence, I think. And if you don't really subscribe to the conspiracy beliefs about the moon, then I can see why you'd probably dislike this film. But knowing what I know about the moon, well, not that I know, I haven't been there. But anyway, it's a it's a really good film. I enjoyed it. It's just it, it just did not get very good reviews. Warm Bodies. This one's about a zombie man boy <laughs> that uh, is kind of coming back to life. Um, he's I haven't watched it, but I've heard that it's a decent film about a girl who kind of falls for him and sees that he's different from other normal zombies, and they end up getting in a relationship, I believe. So, yep, this is one here that I have not yet watched. Warm Bodies. David Bowie's The Man Who Fell to Earth. This is supposedly a classic. Now, I've seen people unbox this where when you take this off, obviously the the flash here, the the lightning bolt... (laughs) Is kind of removed from from the eye, kind of portraying, I guess, the uh, the alien that that is David Bowie. Now, this is a film I should watch very soon because I think there could be some perspective in this. I'm a big lover of sci-fi, lover of alien type of films, outer worldly things, and I do believe personally that there are many extraterrestrials out there, and uh, in some cases, even um, humans who have may have survived past experiences, past calamities on Earth that have gotten off of Earth, just think about that, right? If there was a catastrophe in one point in time where technology existed, which is evidence that it does or did, that was equal to ours at this time, and the civilization cycles over and over and over, then it's possible some of the extraterrestrials that visit us are distant human relatives. Was David Bowie an alien? Was he? Was he? Anyway... (laughs) Tell me what you think about that or what you know about David Bowie, the man who fell to earth. I have not seen it and need to. Ghost in the Shell. This is an anime film and uh, one that I have heard really looks great in 4K. Big Ghost in the Shell fan of the movie, um, but not really one of the anime. I haven't watched the animation, so... Need to check it out. The theory, the entire perspective of this film, obviously the one that has Scarlett Johansson in it, kind of got some critical reviews. I enjoyed it, but I have to check out the animated version. Here we next have up Crank. You got a Jason Statham. Stratum, sorry. (laughs) Statham, Stratum. Uh, Crank, and this is... One that I have seen. This one here to me was an, an, a very anxiety-inducing film. Uh, look at that artwork there on that, though. This thing will get your heart racing. Hence the title crank and I think the entire perspective of the movie. It, it, it's just, it gets your blood going. <laughs> There's the full view. And if you know the entire premise here, he is basically set up. He gets a shot, um, finds himself awakened the next day with a video where he's told he is going to basically die within 24 hours. And his entire point of the movie is to get in front of his girl 
and let her know what's going on. But it, it is just one high pulsed anxiety ridden moment from point A to point B <laughs> in this film. So that is Crank. Wasn't the biggest fan of it. I thought it was very good action. Just not the biggest fan of the anxiety riddenness. Here's a great one that I really did love. Lord of War, Nicolas Cage. Uh, I, I had heard about this film. I had never watched it. And really am glad that I did. Because this one, see the, the glasses pop off there. Smooth, awesome Nick Cage. And then normal Nick Cage, who's still smooth and awesome. But uh, there's the back. There's the front, and he's basically a arms dealer that, uh, with or without morality, spreads guns across to rebels and rejects and <laughs> illegal solicitation of guns. And it's a very productive business for him in this film, but really a great movie. Uh, it looks fantastic in 4K, and one that I would recommend anyone checking out. So that is Lord of War. Coming off of the Saw series, I have not seen this yet. Spiral. Is it worth watching? I've heard it's good. I've heard it's not so good. Uh, Chris Rock is in this one. And uh, I heard he does a very good job, but had no interest in doing any kind of other spinoffs on this. So I just got to maybe this Halloween season, make time and watch Spiral. Here is Belly with Nas and DMX. Uh, another film that I've seen pieces of, but never in 4K. So I think this is kind of just a basic uh, slipcover on this one. Not a whole lot. I think it's like light and dark whenever this is pulled off. Hitman's Bodyguard's Wife, I think is this one. Yep, Hitman Wife's Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, Samuel L. Jackson, Ryan Reynolds. This is kind of a, uh, of course, Selma Hay Selma Hayek. This is the sequel to Hitman's Bodyguard, which I haven't seen the sequel yet, but I have seen Hitman's Bodyguard, which is the next one up. It was okay, it, you know, it was an action comedy type of film, Hitman's Bodyguard. These two in this film, they don't like each other very, very much, but they end up liking each other after <laughs> the movie ends. So it's an interesting story, but not exactly, in my opinion, the best movie. Nice artwork, though. I'm going to try to move, because I don't want to make this too long of a video, but there are, like, I think, I don't know how many of these now, 60? So... Moving along, Universal Soldier. I have seen this film. I have to rewatch it. I don't remember much about it. But uh, one that will be getting opened up and watched in the near future. Same with this one, Punisher. There you go. War Zone Punisher. I'm sure this probably looks pretty awesome as far as the slipcover goes and the actual artwork in this one. I just have not watched it, have not opened it. Here's one I have. What do you all think about Highlander? There's people who love it, people who think it's, it's overrated. I grew up loving Highlander, but as I rewatched the film, it kind of left me wanting. I'm like, this isn't as good as I remember it being whenever I was a kid. Uh, but it, it, it is a classic, and of course, you have the sword there revealing the beautiful artwork on this steel book front and back cover art you know the entire concept of this film this one actually came with uh some lobby cards some art cards which is rare you don't get these very often but again for this price point 22 bucks you're getting the goodness that is Highlander. So this, I'm forgetting his name right now, 
let me look it up here, Christopher Lambert, I learned that uh, he didn't speak much English and had to learn English in, in this movie or had very little knowledge of it and had to get by uh, with not the best English. But I thought he did fine in his performance. Of course, Sean Connery is Sean Connery and is pretty awesome in the film. But the movie itself, when I rewatched it, didn't really excite me as much as it did whenever I was a kid. When did this come out originally? 80-something. Can't see it right now. Not going to waste any more time on that. But that is Highlander. Here's one that I think people love or hate. I actually really enjoyed it. Knock at the Cabin. So, of course, the artwork on this is not um, the best, but you have the hand with the silhouettes of the four individuals who come to the cabin. So everybody talks about this being such a weird concept movie. Basically, you have the end of the world supposedly going to occur unless the two individuals who are found at the cabin do something <laughs> pretty crazy to stop it. And that's why I think it turned off a lot of people because of um, just how wild the concept was. But I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good watch. Knock at the cabin. 310 to Yuma. So I am just kind of getting more into Westerns. This is a great one. This is a remake of the original, which I have not seen the original. But this one here with Christian Bale and Russell Crowe. Man, this was this was great. If you're not a big fan of Westerns, want to check out a really good Western, check out this one. Uh, really, really good film. You know, in this movie, you've got Christian Bale, who is basically trying to track down Russell Crowe, who's an outlaw, and uh, he is not Russell Crowe. Sorry, uh, Christian Bale is a low-life, not-so-great father, uh, hasn't really amounted to much, but he has great moral values and a great great moral compass, and he ends up uh, chasing down Russell Crowe. And uh, actually, in the end, it's a pretty interesting twist to the film. But uh, I enjoyed this one. This was really good. And I wonder if the original is as good as this one was. So if you have seen the original and you've seen the remake, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Is it better than, worse than the original? But 310 to Yuma. All right, that's the first row down. Only one more row. So not too much more time. But I thought I would show these all to you and hopefully you all enjoy it this one is reservoir dogs this is a more recent one this is one where pretty cool if you know the movie you understand the significance of the ear <laughs> there you go that's what's left uh, i had not seen this movie and watched it inside Artwork. There's both sides of the steel book, but really enjoyed it. And it's a all time classic, but one that I hadn't seen. And I'm happy now that I own it as a Best Buy Lionsgate 4K UHD exclusive. But great film. There's one that I, I, I heard a lot of great things about, and it has a lot of it big fan base behind it ran or Ron not sure how that's pronounced but I wasn't the biggest fan I mean I struggled to kind of get through all of this uh, it's a lot of subtitled talk if I'm not mistaken which I don't mind subtitles at all I actually have gotten very used to expanding myself into subtitled movies um, but this one here it has a great philosophical context to it okay so there's a lot of learning in this film about a father who has his, his sons that he's giving off his kingdom to, and they betray him time and time again. And uh, he start, it starts off such a great moral point, and then you see the degradation of the father throughout it. So I did enjoy that part, but it's a longer movie. Let's see if I can remember or see quickly here how long this is. Uh, da, 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 da. I cannot see it. 162 minutes. So yeah, you are at. Yeah, you're definitely up there in time. You're nearly, nearly a three hours long. So it's, uh, one of those films that, you have to really make time for. But, 
and a three hour long movie. It does have some good perspective, but I kind of found myself dragging throughout it. But beautiful artwork on this one. There you go. Beautifully done. Ron, Ran, tell me exactly how that's supposed to be pronounced, or tell me if you love this, or if you didn't like it, if you've seen it. Dirty Dancing, my wife's favorite movie, I think, of all time. This is definitely up there for her. I've seen it dozens of times with her. I uh, have not cracked open this Best Buy exclusive 4K, but you all know it. Classic movie. John Wick, Chapter 4. This is more recent. I, I have multiple copies of this. So I did not open the Best Buy 4K exclusive still book. Um, what do you think of John Wick for? I think most people loved it. But what, what's the deal in the end with Wick? Uh, if you haven't watched it, I won't say. I think there's future John Wicks involving John Wick. Almost a spoiler, sort of. But because of the ending, some people that I know did not like the film. Saw, so you have Spiral and you have Saw. This is the original. I love this movie. I mean, what a what what a great great ending and twist. And of course, I think I fell off in the franchise. I didn't watch every single one as they kind of got a little bit out of hand, in my opinion. But enjoyed the first few. And uh, maybe I should go back and watch all of them at some point. Cabin in the Woods. I've seen it at some point. I streamed it and uh, haven't yet rewatched it, so need to at some point. Clerks 3. Believe it or not, I don't believe I've ever seen this. So not one, not two, or three. And I need to watch all three of them. But um, this is... An interesting, you can't really tell. This is like these this slip cover has them both kind of popping out from what's behind it. It's almost 3D looking. So I don't know. I, I have to open this up and see what that's all about. But Clerks 3. Hacksaw Ridge. This is a really good one. I own this on Blu-ray. Haven't watched it in 4K yet. Uh, of course, this is the film about, um, I forget the term here, basically someone who doesn't want to kill. They're stuck in this war. Um, they don't want to pick up arms. So this is based on a true story of an individual that made a massive impact while never firing a shot in World War II. And uh, yeah, just amazing film. This might be one of the best all-time war movies. And one that I first, like when I heard about it, I'm like, how can it be that great if this guy never fires a shot? But there's such great action in this film and a great moral perspective in this film as well too. Hacksaw Ridge. If you haven't seen it and you like war films, man, go check it out. Even if you don't like war films, you got to go watch it. American Psycho, already showed you that one. Here is... John Carpenter's Halloween. Love John Carpenter and so much of what he does. They Live, The Fog. There's just a lot of great movies that he puts himself out there with. And, of course, how can you not love Halloween? This is unopened. Again, I've seen the movie a dozen times. So I haven't felt the need to watch it in 4K. I haven't ever watched it in 4K. So I need to at some point. Here we have... Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. This is uh, both two movies in one. This was long ago sold out and has not been reprinted and uh, hard to get at this point and not very cheap if you find it on the second market. Um, what do you think of Evil Dead? It has a cult following. I love the first one. Didn't love the second one as much. I own Army of Darkness as a steel book from Scream Factory or Shot Factory. Haven't watched it. And uh, yeah, kind of in between on this one. I have to watch them all, I guess, before I make my complete assessment. 
Up next, stay there. Stay. Stay. There we go. This is uh, Angel Heart. This has uh, the Nero, Mickey Rourke, and Lisa Bonnet. I actually do not know much about this film. This is also out of print at this point. Most of these you can still get. Uh, I'd say a third of them are out of print. And what Lionsgate will do is they will occasionally bring back these from time to time. So if you pop into a Best Buy, you'll randomly see one that might have not been around for a while, just like recently released. So always check. But you can go online as well, too, and order many of these. The Limey. This slip cover here is pretty interesting. This is one that uh, when you take it off here, you can do a couple things with it. You can have, see the, the view of the face? There you go. So you can do it that way or this way. So you've got some interesting perspective here. Looks like behind bars. <laughs> and then flip it. This is how I think it's actually meant to go. But yeah, so the limey, it's almost okay. I didn't really love the movie. Um, what do we got here? Up oh, the famous Arnold Schwarzenegger. Terminator 2, T2. I'll be honest, this one I just haven't opened because the 4K transfer is supposedly the worst that's that's out there, and um, I'm not really going to watch it if it's that bad of a 4K transfer. Perhaps one day it gets remade or redone, but um, just have this as part of the collection. Love the movie. Just love Terminator 2. Talk about some perspective and some, some enlightening points of view in that film. Um, love it. Just not going to open that one up. This one here I most I recently watched and it actually quite surprised me. Requiem for a Dream. And this has uh some great perspective in it too. This has Jared Leto, Jennifer Connelly, and they basically progress deeper and deeper into a darker and darker place uh with drug use and trying to get out of poverty. Lots of perspective in this one. Whoops, almost dropped it. There's the slip cover with um, kind of like the, the dream type of a cover there, showing them both lying in this famous part of the movie. You really feel bad. I mean, it's a dark, depressing film. This one here, Requiem for a Dream, uh, has this just dark undertone to it, but really a good film, one that uh, surprised me having not ever seen it. Uh, I did thoroughly enjoy it. So that is a part of the Lionsgate Steelbook Collection. We have Apocalypse Now. Great film. All-time classic here. Those of you, I'm sure many of you have watched this this war film. I didn't think it had the best ending. I would have liked to have seen um, the ending, obviously, go a lot deeper into the meaning and what happens afterwards. Um, but this film, classic all-time war, war film, so won't spend much time talking about that one. The Hurt Locker, also a good one. This is uh, one I've seen but not, not, not watched in 4K, so at some point I've got to bust this puppy open and watch it in 4K. Sicario. Beautiful artwork on this one. This is one that's also, I believe, now out of print. So was Hurt Locker. I think Apocalypse Now is out of print. So some of these you can find on the second market, but they're not they're not the cheapest. They're usually double the price. Here's one that's more recent that is still available, or should be at least. The unbearable weight of massive talent. I have not seen this. It it looked like it'd be kind of kind of fun, uh, kind of silly, like Nicolas Cage playing himself, um, seeing himself in all of his different roles. I think is what this movie's about. 
but uh, I have not yet watched it. This is a cool one here. This one, Chaos Walking. So this one's interesting because it deals with basically your thoughts are exposed. So they're on this, this it's a dystopian future movie, which I love dystopian future type of, of sci-fis. And the men on the planet, uh, it has an atmosphere, I guess, that, re that reacts with the thought pattern of men to where as they're walking around, their thoughts are on display. So you can't hide your thoughts. Everywhere you go as a man, your thoughts are known. Basically, the voices are played inside the heads of others. They can read everyone else's thoughts. The, the women, however, don't have this problem. So in the film, there's a certain connotation of you need to try to find a way to keep your thoughts to yourself so you don't give away your intentions, which is interesting from a philosophical standpoint. Uh, what would happen if everyone always could tell what you were thinking? Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Probably not a good thing. So not the best slip cover on that one, in my opinion. That's not one that was done uh, with the best work. But the artwork on this is pretty slick. This is their two main characters in the film. That uh, all that squiggly line type of artwork represents the thoughts of those that are walking around through the movie. So yeah, it's an interesting perspective film for sure. Uh, one that I think kind of flies under, under the radar just a bit and uh, isn't that well known. Ender's Game, this is a more recent release and should definitely still be available. Uh, I did a review on this as well. You can go back and check that out for yourself. Great sci-fi flick, I think. Um, pretty cool slipcover and artwork on Ender. This is Ender. It's not um, Ender's Game. Like I didn't realize that this movie, that's Ender in the film. And that's uh, about simulations and really getting through... Uh, the training to basically go to war with an alien species that has attacked Earth, but there's a twist. It's a good twist uh, about trusting leadership and government. And uh, for that reason, mostly alone, I enjoyed the film. And also a great one, Sisu. This is a recent release. The slip cover on this one is a sideways slip. Boom. You can have it be facing that way or this way. And of course, either way, the knife of significance in this film. They took this man's gold and he makes him pay for it. <laughs> it's kind of like a John Wick-ish take uh, of an older guy that gets his gold taken and sets out on a warpath to uh, get after the people that did him wrong so i think let me see here yeah, the rest of these still books down here are all just steel books and again about a third of those are out of print but i think that lionsgate is doing some amazing work with these and i love what they've done the price points again are amazing and there's some great films and if you're a collector of all things physical media especially movies and you like packaging and steel books then this is right up your alley and you can still get these. Uh, the majority of them uh, are still available. And there's not that many. I mean, only 60. There are obviously some collection labels that go into the hundreds or thousands. So I uh, have started collecting these. I'm going to continue to collect them. And as I get some perspective from the films that I can pass on to each of you as I watch them, whatever exists, like that from Ender's Game, then I will be doing that, of course, too. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you stuck with me, thank you. Hit that like button, of course. Hopefully subscribe if you haven't yet. And remember, keep on finding your way through your why, all the while knowing life is not in your hands, my friends. It all begins up in your head with that perspective. Let me know in the comments below if there's any one movie you liked out of that the most that if I haven't seen, I should see. Or what your thoughts are on general with Lionsgate and what they're doing or any of those films. Appreciate you guys being here. Do take care for now. Talk to you all again soon.